everyone, thanks for joining us today on Packs for Purpose. We are going to open a brand new booster box of the new set, Streets of New Capenna set boosters. I uh, got this nice, beautiful little buy -a box promo, which is Jaxus the Troublemaker. Much better art than the pack versions as well. Nice little card there with Blitz ability. And we're going to get right into this. The, um, the way they changed this is awesome too because they have basically gotten rid of all of the commons and uncommons in the set card slot or in the, uh, I guess that reprint slot. And now they're all replaced with rares and mythics, which I think brings the EV of a box way up much better. Good job, wizards. If I could just rip into this, forgive me for the shaky camera here. I'm going to grab a knife here real quick. Give me just a minute since my finger does not want to cooperate. There we go. We'll get that started and rip right in. Now, if you guys experience a little bit of shaky camera movement, I do apologize. I'm trying my best not to move the camera as it's uh, clamped on here to my desk until I get a little bit of a better setup. That's a little bit more stationary. So we got that nice little box topper card right there, the Gallic Readers. That's going to come in every single set booster box. So a lot of these out on the market. Uh, and I think this is the one that's got a different art for each region. So Russia, China, uh, Japan, Korea. Um, Portuguese, Spanish, I can't remember if that's all the ones that they've got out there, but there's some really cool arts out there. So, we're gonna get all the packs here out of the box. Move this off to the side. And we'll get to opening. Oh wow, these packs open really, really nice. It's like they change the material a little bit. And they open very very smoothly very easy to open some of them I remember the uh, neon dynasty was a little bit harder to open so get your art card in each slot this is a um, awesome looking the full art land slot the uh, I can't remember what they call these but they've got a new style here for them um, and they're they're really pretty it's not a foil one but very very gorgeous <clears throat> All right, we're going to skip past a lot of the commons and uncommons. There's a couple. Knockout Blow is a pretty good card. Uh, but we're going to get right into a lot of the hits and the rares. Tramway Station there. Common, but really pretty art. Got to love the um, that showcase frame there. And pretty good for common lands. I mean, the ability to sacrifice later in the game and draw a card is uh, pretty nice. I feel like these are going to kind of see a lot of playing Commander. Shake Down Heavy is our first rare and our foil is Maestro's Charm normal foil nothing special there and then our token card <clears throat> so no set list card there and this is the uh, boxes that you can get with, with Streets of New Capenna they've got the Stranger Things cards that you can get now they're not obviously the Stranger Things characters but they are, there's Halo Fountain or Fountain, what is this? This is the art for, yeah, Halo Fountain. Full art, little art piece there. But they basically um, insert those into, and I think at a pretty high rate too, where you can get set list cards in that, or in that set list slot, you can get the uh, Stranger Things cards with a different name for the Magic the Gathering universe. So uh, let's get right back to the back here. I got to be careful sometimes because, oh, there's that showcase frame. Not a gilded foil, but just that showcase frame. Really pretty. Spars Adjudicators. There's Corpse Appraiser. Professional Face Breaker. What a name for a card, right? Especially pretty aggressive if you uh, slap this down against your opponent. You're trying to say that you want to break their face? I don't know. So uh, that's our rare, and our foil is Revel Ruiner. And then just some tokens. Looks like some shield counters and some plus one, plus one counters. Kind of nice they give you these little punch outs, especially if you're in like a a draft or something. I assume these are in draft packs too that you can use to play with. <clears throat> All right. I don't know why they put these art cards backwards. They used to be forward in the slot unless this is just a mistake. And they, you know, manufacturing mistake. Maybe they put them backwards in the packs. Who knows? Whatever. This is Zia Tora, right? The incinerator? Yeah, this is the Riveteers <laughs> General. Excuse that phone notification there in the background. All right. 
move some stuff over here on my desk while I make a little pile so I can separate some stuff into. And getting right to Lagrella the Magpie. That's an uncommon, but a very oddly worded commander or, or, or creature in general. Uh, meant for commander play, I'm sure. But um, when Lagrella the Magpie enters the battlefield, exile any number of other target creatures controlled by different players until Lagrella leaves the battlefield. When an exiled card enters the battlefield under your control this way, put two plus one plus one counters on it. So... Um, obviously it needs to be different players. So that means one per player. They could have worded this. I, I feel like this is a word vomit. They could have worded this a lot better, but, um, really good comes into play. You can pick up a, a permanent that you own as well, exile it. And then when she leaves, you get it back under your control. You get, it, get, it comes into play with two counters on it. So, uh, very interesting design on this card. Just real bad with the wording. Uh, like I said, total total word vomit, in my opinion. Um, Could have done better there, Wizards. Could have done better. Scheming Fence, our first rare there. So might see some play in, uh, in, in who knows, in modern or some other uh, formats, maybe even Pioneer. And then Celebrity Fencer. And just a token card. So we still haven't hit a list card yet, but we will get to them. I know they are a lot more frequent in these than they used to be, and that might be one right there, unless that's a blank token. Nice little art card there. And get right to the back. A couple Riveteer's Charm. It's really pretty art. Love these. Can't wait till we hit that gilded foil. And there is our first mythic, Anel and Hello, the painter. This is a commander card. So a 1-3 death touch for a blue, a black, and a red. And the first instant or source spell you cast each turn has casualty 2. Casualty meaning you can sacrifice a creature, power 2 or greater, and then you get to copy that spell. So pretty good. Ledger Shredder is our rare here in the pack. And our foil. Uh, speaking of gilded foils, guys, these honestly are so gorgeous. The camera, I do not think, does these cards justice at all, to be honest with you. They're a little bit textured. If you rub your finger over it, you can kind of feel it's it's slightly raised. But these are beautiful. I think these are going to be very highly sought after um, foils. Very highly sought after cards. Absolutely gorgeous. So Obscura Charm. Not a bad Gilded Foil to get. And we have back here, it is a set list card. It's Cecily Haunted Mage. So this one, I can't remember which one it's supposed to be, but it is one of these Stranger Things uh, cards. So... We'll set that right up here. We're going to create a uh, separate pile up here for set list cards. <clears throat> and I feel like this, I almost feel like this needs a separate pile in of itself. I mean, these are just so gorgeous. I'm going to put this, we'll put this uh, right over here on just by itself. So let me readjust here. Keep some stuff in the camera. So you guys can see as we're opening and kind of making some of our piles here. <clears throat> All right. Maybe another list card right there on the back. We'll see. This is a little art card. Gorgeous island. Boy, this will be beautiful in foil, I'm sure. That's really nice. Love those full art lands. They're always cool. They're always coming out with new, different kinds of full art lands for each set. I think it's kind of kind of neat. Something, A little something for everyone or something to kind of spice up your deck depending on the theme you're running. Fight Rigging is our rare here. Maestro's Charm, so this is a, a showcase version, but it's not the gilded foil. As you can see the difference here between the two. This one's got that texture, and it's it's just, it really pops. That gold uh, leafing, I would call it, like a gold leafing. Almost like an embossing. Really, really pretty. These are still pretty, too. I, I do like them. Very pretty. Just a normal foil, though, for it. And a Ruin Grinder. So this is a... Um, Commander card, I believe, is exclusive to. Oh no, I think this is from one of the commander sets. Yeah, from from. I don't I don't remember which one it is. C C twenty one, I think. So Commander two thousand twenty one. Uh, mixing up my piles here. Let's put that over here. So there's another set list card. Ah, oh, love how easy these packs are to open. Much easier. Much easier. Little art card there. Who is that? I think that's Commander. Yeah, Fabine Boss's Confidant. 
Get right back here to the back. All right. Brazen Upstart. Good on common. Mysterious Limousine. And our foil is Involuntary Employment. And then tokens. Tokens, tokens, tokens. You know, the only thing I got to say about this, uh, is so many different arts and variations, it's very hard to kind of create piles to sort with. So Wizards loves to have all these kinds of different uh, variations and different uh, art styles now, from borderless to full art to gilded to the showcase frame. Um, at some point in the future, we're going to get no art. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. <clears throat> Unleash the Inferno. And our foil here, Mayhem Patrol. Mayhem Patrol. And then just a token. All right. If my battery to my camera here dies, um, I apologize, but we will resume. Oh, look at that. That's kind of a cool art. I like that. It's got a little platter he's serving, serving dish. But secretly hiding a knife underneath the platter. So it looks like he's got some ulterior motive there. Nice full art swamp. And getting right back to it here. Tenuous Truce is a rare card here that we have in the pack. This looks like a commander card. And then followed by an incandescent aria. And a foil is a broker's veteran. And then our token, which is a fish. Oh, look at the cute little fishy in a bubble. Oh, I bet these are really cool to have in foil in the collector boxes. We will be opening some collector booster packs here on the channel as well. Um, that will be coming in in about a week or week and a half when I get those videos uploaded. And we've got a whole case. So we got six collector booster boxes to open. So come and join us for that and see what kind of lucky pulls we get. Hopefully some awesome stuff. Can't wait to get some of those more, some, some more of those gilded foils. All right, and we're going to get, looks like our first Mythic is coming up. I can see that M right there at the bottom, or one of our first Mythics. Oh, Omnixilus the Adversary. There he is, making his appearance. The main, the main baddie of New Capenna, one of the main characters in the set. Love that card. Great, great card. And then Sleep with the Fishes. Who doesn't want to sleep with the little fishies? They're so cute, right? They look like little masked ninjas. Look at that. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. They look, they're, they're all wearing little masks. Secretive little fish. And then our set list card here. It looks like we have uh, Othelm Sigardian Outcast. So again, another one of the Stranger Things cards that they have made into a Magic Universe character. <laughs> Always nice to open those. I want to say you get about five or six of them in a box. I, I can't remember what the odds are of opening one of those, but I want to say, I want to say they're one in every six to eight packs. So still haven't seen our signature card yet for the art cards, but I'm sure we will get it or a couple, a few. I do like these common lands, like I said. I also like the art on. They're going to be really pretty in foil. Our rare is Tenacious Underdog. This is a Blitz, a Blitz Human Warrior that you can uh, pay to life and blitz it from the graveyard. So not a bad card. There's the Botanical Plaza. Normal art. Still very pretty art, though. Love that way that, that pops, that shines there. And then our token, which is a treasure token. All right. Some nice little art. We'll get right here to the back. Unlicensed hearse. So we had the limousine and now we have the hearse. And then our foil is... Oh my gosh, we got a mythic foil here. I wonder what it could be. Body launderer mythic foil. So this is a... This is kind of... This is weird. There's something weird about this foiling. To be honest with you, this does not appear the same foiling as the other foils we've opened. This is like a matte foil. It almost doesn't look foil. The camera is barely picking that up. Almost looks like this was maybe printed in a different factory. The back is a little shiny and slick too. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. That's uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. 
I like it to, to pop a lot more. But anyway, 3-3 Death Touch. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, Body Launderer Connives. And for those of you that don't quite remember what Connives is yet, you get to discard a card. Um, some cards have to connive X or connive a certain number. You get to discard a card, and then if you... You draw a card and discard a card. If you discard a non-land card, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on the creature. So he connives, um, and then he gets bigger if you discard an online card. And when Bondry, when he dies, return another target non-rogue creature card with equal or lesser power from your graveyard to the battlefield. So, not bad. Can definitely be used in some graveyard sacrifice strategies. <clears throat> Oops, grabbed two packs there. Get right into the next one. There's our signature card there, as you can see. This is a plasma jockey. So, and the art is done. Andrew Marr. Andrew Marr. Nice again, full art swamp. Kind of a little dark uh, citadel setting there. Looks like it's kind of, I guess, look almost like a flooded um, old building. All right. Even heart stabber. This is the rare here, and our foil is a common foil here. Glitter Monger. <laughs> what a name, Glitter Monger. <clears throat> 30 boosters to go through total in these set boxes. 30 boosters. But you get more than 30 rares. Some packs are going to contain multiple rares, so. You definitely still get at least 36. So you're still getting a booster box worth of cards. You're just... And, and, and with the set list cards, I think they're even better. So, And I, I don't think we've really seen anything other than that Commander 21. So Tola's Clever Conductor, Crooked Custodian, and then more tokens. More tokens. All right. Art. Normal Foil Island. Oh, Gala Greeter, so that box topper rare, just the normal art. Good card, though, honestly, very good card. The Alliance mechanic's a pretty good mechanic, um, and it could get played. I don't think it'll, uh, unfortunately, maintain a lot of value considering it's a box topper, but good card. And there we got another foil. So this is a Commander foil, and these are, again, you know what I think it is? This is a Mythic 2. And I think this came off of a different sheet than the commons and uncommons. As you can see, these are a lot more shiny. And these that are the mythics have a more of a matte finish. I mean, not as shiny. But I do believe that these are exclusive to set boosters. You cannot... Um, well, actually, and that's not true. I think they have extended arts that you can now get in the collector boosters. You could not do that in the... Neon Dynasty boxes, but they did do it with the Streets of New Capenna. So they do have the extended art foils you can get collector boosters and then these uh, that come in the normal set boosters. Uh, but in the in the Commander decks, it's going to be a non-foil card. Um, there's just a token there. So this is Tevet, Seller of Secrets. And uh, he's pretty good. I'm not a fan of that matte foiling. It's too matte for me. I want it to shine and pop more, but... Not bad, not bad. Looks like we got another set list card coming up here. A card from the list. We'll see what what it is. There's a Vivian, the new Vivian art. Really gorgeous. Vivian of the on the hunt, not of the hunt, on the hunt. She is on the hunt. All right. Ginny Fay, Jet Mirror second. Love the little uh, cat and dog token producer. And okay, so there's another foil rare. And this one is also matte. So it looks like the mythic and rare sheet came from a different printing press, to be honest with you. Um, Agnes the Dragon's Lash. So, haste whenever you, whenever a creature you control with haste attacks, create a tapped treasure token. Really, really good in Commander. Jund colors. Great card. And a treasure, Treasury Thrall rare. Uh, Commander 2015 is what this was in. So. All right. Onward to the next pack. Oh, look at that art. 
That island is going to be really pretty in foil. I like that. That's very beautiful. Get right to the back here. Topiary Stomper is our rare. I know they have a special full art version of this. Um, that's kind of cool looking. Not sure if this card will actually get played. But hey, it does it, it does search for a land. It basically in carpet on the play tapped. It is a dinosaur, so it'll go in some dino decks for some of you EDH players out there that loves to play dinosaurs. And uh, as soon as you have seven or more lands, then you can use it to attack a block. But until then, it cannot cannot do anything. It has Vigilance, too. So it's three, four, four, four Vigilance. That can't do anything until you have seven lands. So we'll see how that plays out. And it's not just a dinosaur. It's a plant dinosaur. And Ballroom Brawlers. And Token. Citizen Token. I'm going to try to get through the rest of this box pretty quick. I'm at 15% on my battery life here. That's a pretty nice art. We'll get right to the back here. Park Heights Pegasus. Broker's Hideout Foil. Nice little land there. Ooh, and this is one of the ones we wanted to hit. This is Arvanox the Mind Flail. This is the... Um, that not, not the not the Demogorgon, but I can't think of the name of it from the Stranger Things. This is a really really good one. Very very powerful creature. Nine nine isn't a creature unless you control three or more permanents you don't own. But at the beginning of your end step, you exile the bottom card of each opponent's library face down. And as long as those cards remain exiled, you may look at them and you may cast permanent spells from among them. You may spend mana mana as though it were any color to cast those spells. Very good card. Very good cards. So you get to steal stuff. And um, what better way to than steal it from the bottom of the library, right? Right on theme with the upside down. So kind of kind of nice uh, nice little twist there. So that was one of the ones I was hoping to open. Of course, the other one I'd like to open is the, the actual uh, upside down too. Or the, um, uh, what do you call it? Hawkins Laboratory, which would be nice. Which is Haven Ghoul Laboratory, I think, in the... Uh, in the in the set version here so maybe we'll get to open one of those too it'll be the best of both worlds Jetmere's garden here we go with the uh, they're not really triumphs but i'm going to call them triumphs because that's what we got used to a map from used to the maz from icoria but the tri lands mountain forest plains so this is the naya colors great cards i will take one of these any day and a revelation of power foil Another fishy token. Fishy! My bubbles. Alright. Ooh, wow. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Full art foil mountain there. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. That's 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 special. Alright. Oops, sorry. A little spoilage there. Mari the Killing Quill. Commander card here. Jaxus the Troublemaker. So the same thing that we got as the set, or as the Buy Box promo. I think the Buy Box promo art is much better. You tell me in the comments below which one you like better. I, I think this one's better. And you got the little devils in the background too. It's kind of cool. And the, the fists are on fire. I like it. Much better. Riveter's Charm, Foil, and a token, Spirit Token. <clears throat> Got quite a few boosters still left to go before we finish this box here. So I'll try to go a little quicker. As I did say, my battery is kind of dying. Nice little full art planes. We'll go right to the back here. Oh, we got a Mythic coming up, and I think I saw it's a Planeswalker. I can see that loyalty down there. It is. It is Vivian on the hunt. So not a bad card to open. There is a two-card combo with this that is being used with Planebound Accomplice from Modern Horizons. Uh, yeah, modern the original Modern Horizons. Um, so that's a nice little putter into play at instant speed. And then there's a little combo that you can use. Um, I can't. I can't remember the exact combo right now, but it's 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 seen its play. Uh, people are testing it out. We'll see if it actually sticks and is, is viable. Witty Roast Master Foil, and more Punch-Out Tokens. This time the counter's flying, First Shark Lifelink Shield, 
uh, vigilance counters to mark uh, kinds of counters you put on your creatures. Kind of like those, but they did those. <clears throat> nice to kind of throw in your deck box or something if you're going to draft or a sealed event and you kind of have those with you. Or maybe even just in your commander box, so if you need to mark a creature, you can mark a creature like that. All right. Broker's Ascendancy is our rare here. So pretty uh, pretty powerful. I think this might slot into uh, several different builds for um, Atraxa. Not bad. You get a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control and a loyalty on each Planeswalker. So Atraxa Planeswalkers build might love this a lot. And a Corrupt Court Official um, foil. Citizen token. All right. Art. Oh, that's a card we want to open. This is, uh, yeah. Oh, nope. Jetmere's Garden. Oh, we do want to open this too, but for some reason I thought that was the, uh, artifact enchantment that makes your lands produce treasure tokens. I can't think of the value. Right? Smuggler or something? I can't remember. Real, real good card. We want one of those for sure. But we'll take Aspara's Headquarters. We will take another Tri-Land. Um, I will take all of these all day long. Very usable cards in EDH and, and probably Pioneer and, and uh, certain decks for the future. Modern runs a few in certain decks, I know. Torch Breath Foil. And nothing. No token, no nothing. Just a, just a nice little card to recycle. <laughs> Oh, look at that forest. Oh, this will be a beautiful foil as well. Love those. I think each land has two different arts for it, if I'm not mistaken. All right, Hostile Takeover in the showcase frame. Uh, Maestro's Diabolist. Oh, oh, we get another one in this set booster box. This is our second Gilded Foil, Rakish Revelers. God, even though this is common, this is just so gorgeous. That gold leafing really pops. That That's like a such a nice embossed looking. Oh, man. They need to make more cards like this. They need to start experimenting like this with... This is, this is on the level of uh, the... Um, the masterpieces that came out in Kaladesh that are just so gorgeous that everybody loves. And this is not a bad card either. Um, create a 1-1 one, one green and white citizen creature token when it enters the battlefield. But this is one of the ones that they did for mana fixing for every color. You can pay two and exile it from your hand. And target land gains the ability, add green, uh, red, or white until... Rakish Revelers is cast from exile. So once you cast it, it loses that ability. But in late game, you get a 5-3 creature that gives you a 1-1 body on the on the battlefield. A 1-1 green and white citizen token. Oh, man, I just can't stop looking at that. Anyway, well, let's move along. That's that's just, that's really pretty. Oh, here comes a set list card coming up, it looks like. There's another signature card. This one is Backup Agent by Aaron J. Riley. All right. I am running low on batteries, so I'm going to try to speed a little bit faster through this. Maestro's Diabolist. Diabolist. This is the showcase version of it. A Reservoir Kraken. Not a bad card at all. This might see some play in some EDH decks. Xander's Lounge. So we got another foil rare here, and this one's a great one. This one doesn't look like... Yeah, it's got a little bit of a matte finish, but... Again, this is a Tri-Land. I'll take this all day long. And what a pack. That behind here looks like we're getting a set list card. <laughs> oh, I see. It wanted to tease us with a set list card, and then it wants to give us a nightmare, which is, um, I love you, Wizards, and I love that you replaced all the commons and uncommons with rares and mythics, but uh, if you could just do me a favor and do away with cards like Nightmare in the future, I would greatly appreciate it. That is... Um, uh, fire that is that is just complete it, i'm gonna use it as kindle for a fire i'll throw it in my grill when i'm uh when i'm cooking a steak that's that's what that is but uh no jokes aside uh, uh you know it's nice to have the rares and mythics i just 
I, I really wish we would stop including cards like Nightmare in that slot. Not not the rare set list card that you want to open. It it definitely uh definitely is probably on the bottom of the totem pole there. Maybe not as worse as something like Visordrix, but but still. Devilish Valet is our rare. Foil Riveteer's Outlook. Cool land there. And an Ogre Warrior token. Charging Rhino. He looks mad. He looks pissed off. Cabaretti Charm. Masked Bandits. Rabble Rousing. Real good card. Uh, this is a card I'd like to have a whole entire stack of. A huge brick of. Um, this is going to be very, very popular for many years to come in Commander. Until it eventually gets a reprint, which I'm sure it will later on down the road. But, very, very good card for Commander. Hideaway 5. 5 mana for an enchantment. Hideaway 5. When you attack with one or more creatures, create that many 1-1 one, one green and white citizen creature tokens. And then you, if you control at least 10 or more creatures, you play the exiled card without paying its mana, lot, mana cost. So, like the hideaway lands from the original Lorwyn, but uh, this is fantastic because it also, again, it still stays in play. And, and you every time you attack, you get that many 1-1 one, one creatures. So, big, big token producer. And something like this with... Um, oh, uh, why am I drawing a blank on the name of that card? Um, oh, it'll come to me. It's the Almond Ket rare that doubles. So, foil plasma jockey is our foil there, and just a citizen token. Well, that's gonna drive me nuts. Maybe I can think of it by the end of this video. Let's see. I have a buddy here in the background. Let me see if he knows. Oh, I think he is uh, busy at the moment. So. We'll get to it. Um, all right. And just a foil island, normal foil island. And hey, let me let me ask him real quick. Hey John, what's that card that came from Almond Cat that, that it's a white mana enchantment that doubles your um, it's really popular in Commander and I can't think of it right now. Oh my gosh, it's gonna drive me nuts. It's 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 a doubling uh, enchantment, kind of like you have parallel lives, kind of like you have, uh, well not doubling season, but this doubles um, if it's tokens, I think it's tokens. I don't think it has to do with plus one plus one counters. I can't think of it. It's driving me nuts. Maybe we'll think of it by the end of the video. Meeting of the five. So okay, this is not really the mythic you want to open. I honestly think this is probably one of the bulkiest mythics that you can. It's definitely in the top 10 bulkiest mythics of all time. So not the mythic you want to see in your box, but hey, it's going to happen. Some boxes are not going to be, you know, not everything you're going to get. Or not everything you want you're going to get. So, I mean, it's fine. Whatever, right? Meeting of the five. Foil Citizen's Crowbar, which kind of looks a little awkward to be used as a crowbar since it doesn't really have a straight edge, but whatever, right? And we have... Three more packs here to finish this box off. We're going to make it just in time. I am at 7% battery here. Nice little mountain. We got to foil one of those earlier. Let's get right to the back. Black Market Tycoon. Our foil is Raffine's Informant. And Fodder. All right. Maybe one more set list card we can get. We got one more pack after this. Uh, Soul of Emancipation Showcase Art. A Hostile Takeover. A Foil Soul of Emancipation. Normal Art. So this box has had quite a few Foil Rares and Mythics. I think five or six? I think five. Last pack here of the box. I'm going to try not to reveal that back card, see if we can get lucky with a list card. Oops, sorry for the camera moving. Last pack. Let's see what we can get. Cut your losses. Is that how we're going to feel with this last pack? Because I'm going to have to cut my losses because uh, it's not going to be anything exciting. That's okay. Echo Inspector. And, oh, no, it is something exciting. This is the one I was talking about that we wanted to get. This is the Hawkins Laboratory um, Stranger Things card, but Havengold Laboratory for the Magic Universe here, which flips into Havengold Mystery. 
So the only thing that's not cool about this is the, the Stranger Things version card actually flips into the upside down and the back of the card is actually upside down. But that's okay. This is still a very good card with an investigate mechanic on it and gets you some clue tokens. And then um, gets you a creature card from your graveyard back to the battlefield. So pretty neat. And I was hoping to open this. So this is not a bad box after all. Uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight again. And please join us again next time when we open up some Streets of New Capenna collector booster boxes. And I will have some packs and cards to give away on the channel as well. So just like, subscribe, leave me a comment below what your favorite card in Streets of New Capenna is, what you're looking forward to the most. And we will get you into some giveaways on the next video with probably some set boosters and uh, maybe a collector booster pack. Thanks again for joining us, guys. Have fun. Take care. Peace.